So in the last lesson, uh, we had a look at the pool brush, which is a very, very useful brush and probably the one you're going to be using mostly. But uh, there's a few other brushes that are very useful. So um, I've made some changes to my base mesh, uh, nothing major, but I just moved up the mouth and um, I basically flooded the entire mesh with a flood, smoothing flood. So what I'm going to show you next is the grab tool. And this tool is very useful for uh, basically forming and shaping the mesh at quite a low level. So right now I'm on level zero. I've got three levels. I might add just one more. So I'm just gonna go back down to level zero. So as you know, this is my reference image here. So I've got a good starting point, but um, I'm basically gonna use the grab brush to uh, shape this model a bit closer to my reference image. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. So the first thing I can notice is the ears. So I'm just gonna to come to my grab brush here and I'm just gonna pull the mesh. So grab literally just kind of grabs the mesh and pulls it. I'm just gonna enlarge the ears and I've got symmetry turned on uh, by default. I actually, I might just click link symmetry here just in case. And I'm just shaping my mesh. Be about there. Um, just bring this neck in. So that's pretty close. I mean, it's not identical, but uh, it's definitely closer to the reference image. The head's maybe a bit fatter here, but um, the grab brush is just a very effective way of uh, just shaping out that mesh. So now I'm just going to go to a higher level, um, maybe go to two. I can see some kind of distortion around the mouth here. So I'm just going to use my smooth tool here. Just relax the mesh there slightly. Like that. And um, I'm going to use a pool brush to bring out the bottom lip, which is quite prominent in my reference image. Probably like that. And you can grab on higher levels as well. It's no, uh, it's not critical. But um, it is a bit trickier. And uh, another uh, very important, very useful brush is the erase brush. So um, basically if I'm not happy with the eyes, I can just use the erase brush and it takes it back down to the base. But uh, it can be quite unpredictable sometimes. Just gonna smooth out here. Smooth just relaxes the mesh. So uh, yeah, I could keep working on this, but uh, I just wanted to go through grab and erase in this tutorial. Just add some wrinkles here maybe, just a few creases. And another very useful function is flood. So if I want to add an overall smooth, instead of using the brush, I can just go flood and um, basically smooths the entire mesh all around like that. So quite handy. But um, I'm going to leave it there for this tutorial and uh, I'll see you in part five.